Hola, hola, hola. Hello, 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 my beautiful planner babes. Welcome to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, La Planning Diva. And I am super excited because I am unboxing the Planner Essentials Mystery Bundle from the Happy Planner that they released during their Cyber Monday sales. I am a sucker for their mystery bundles. There's nothing like a good mystery bundle. I just unboxed the gold getter mystery bundle which was the one that i was the most excited for this one the planner essentials i am the second most excited for and then last is the floral bundle which i will be unboxing in the next video i totally forgot to mention in the gold getter mystery bundle unboxing um which i think i will upload after this one I forgot to mention that the Happy Planner sent an email out to everyone who purchased the mystery bundles and apologized for not being able to include the tote bags alongside the mystery bundles. Um, there was some kind of mix up, some kind of situation going on. They weren't able to include the tote bags in the order, but they shipped them anyway and they're going to ship out the tote bags whenever they are able to ship them out. Honestly, I'm not too pressed about it, but I am happy that they shipped the bundles um, without waiting for the tote bags and that they're going to ship the tote bags later. Anyways, I'm super excited to unbox the Planner Essentials Mystery Bundle. As I said, I am a bit of a sucker for the mystery bundles because it is so, so fun to unbox like a bag of mysterious goodies. And it's a good way to experience things that you might not necessarily have picked out yourself. It kind of pushes you to try new things. And what I like about the mystery bundles is that a lot of the times they have old school happy planner items. And because I didn't get into planning until late 2019, I never got um, some of these, those older happy planner products. And I honestly really, really like old school happy planner I like how um, bright and colorful and functional so many of their products were back then. So I'm excited about unboxing this mystery bundle. So without further ado, I'm going to cut off the packaging here and unbox the products. Ah. Okay, first thing is first, I am going to unbox this mug. I remember seeing this on that they were going to include a mug in this bundle, and I'm really curious about this. Um, <laughs> let's see, let's check this out. Okay, that's cute. It says, creativity is contagious, pass it on. And it's a quote from Albert Einstein. It's a very cute mug. I like the font. I like the little dots. Um, this definitely feels like happy planner to me. That is very fun. I do enjoy that. I think this would be fun to put pens in. I'm all I like using mugs to put my pens and like my um, art supplies in that I have here around my table, my craft table. So I'm just gonna put this right here in the front, and I will fill it with pencils and anything that I need. Okay, let's see what should we get into um, in this bundle. Okay, first off, we have classic metal discs. These are hot pink metal discs and these are in the classic size these are really pretty um i don't have uh these hot pink discs in this size i have them in the expander size so that's exciting that we have these bright pink classic metal discs and it's actually perfect because i'm actually thinking of switching out my gardening planner discs i just got this in the same order that i ordered the mystery bags in super super cute gardening planner adorable and i saw my girl rachel from planner babe rach she makes youtube videos now definitely go check out her videos planner babe rach i'll link her channel in the description box she has a super inspiring planner so go ahead and go check out her videos i promise you you will not be disappointed but she inspired me um to put some hot pink discs on my gardening planner i think because there's so much pink 
on in the icons on the cover the pink discs will look so cute on this gardening planner so i'm happy about that this is perfect because um i saw that rachel put pink discs on her planner cover and i really really like the look of that but i was thinking that i just don't have hot pink discs in the classic size. I only have them in the expander size and I did not want to put um, that planner on expander discs. So I'm really, really happy about this right now. Okay, next we have a little washi tape bundle. This is exciting. I don't really use a lot of Happy Planner washi tape. And these are really, really thin washi tapes. So that's super, super fun. I feel like I don't use these really thin washi tapes a lot, but I think they'll be perfect for covering up thin lines. And honestly, thin washi tape, I think, is really underrated. It can be such a little subtle accent, and sometimes that's all I want with washi tape. I don't want it to be like a thick, bold statement or a thick, bold line. I just want like a tiny little splash of accent color. So I'm excited to be able to play with these. Okay, and then we have a little sticker pad, uh, a productivity sticker pad, and I love the productivity line. Um, I have a couple of sticker books from the productivity line that I picked up um, last year or two years ago, and I love them so much. I love how functional these are. Um, this is such a perfect item for like a planner basics starter kit. Like all of these items, I can see someone putting together a planner and really sinking into the hobby. Okay, so this is a new sticker book and I'm actually pretty excited about this one. This is the Bright Essential sticker book and it's that sticker book that has that like funky um, kind of sticker page with the clear background and their clear stickers and the clear background. I'm actually really, really excited about this because I really wanted this sticker book and I just never picked it up because I just, couldn't justify it i guess I kept on telling myself that these are just basic stickers that i probably have you know different vari variations on and i just told myself like i didn't need it i shouldn't spend money on it and here it is in my hands finally so i'm actually really excited about this sticker book because i kept on going back and forth on the sticker book for a long time Next, we have Essential Boxes and Borders. This is another sticker book that I do not have. And um, I think this is also a relatively recent sticker book. It's not old school. It's definitely, I think, a more recent sticker book. Um, but this looks super, super functional. A lot of header stickers. Ooh, I love these. I really like these stickers. The what, where, when stickers. Love that we get a bunch of habit trackers. We have some nice boxes. Oh, this is such a perfect um, Planner Essentials sticker book edition. Lots of boxes, lots of flags. This will be perfect for work. Really happy with that one. Oh, how cute. We have happy illustrations. This is so fun. That's interesting that they included this sticker book because I feel like you don't necessarily think about this being a planner essential. But I feel like if you're just getting into decorative planning, this is a good way to begin decorative planning. It has a lot of super cute illustrations that you can just throw into a planner. This is actually one of the first sticker books that I got. And I think I finished the entire thing. Yes, I do have a distinct memory of finishing this entire sticker book. So that's fun that um, I get to have another go with the sticker book because I can see myself finishing that thing completely again. Okay, the next thing that we have is sticky notes, five sticky notepads. I have never seen this. This looks like an old school Happy Planner item. So let's open it up. Five sticky notepads. Okay, interesting. Oh, that's so interesting. So it is like a planner insert, like you can insert it into your planner with the disc punches here. And each one of these is a sticky note. And so it's just a huge sticky note, basically. Oh, interesting. And then we have, um, so this one is like a grid sticky note, a rectangular grid sticky note box. And then this one is kind of like, um, almost like a journaling page or just like a lined note page. And then similar to this one, this is also just a lot of lines, perfect for writing a lot. And then we have 
another um, grid sticky note, and then we have another lined page sticky note. Oh, this is excellent. I'm really excited about this one. I think that will be perfect for my work planner. I always feel like I need these larger sticky notes. I feel like sometimes um, just a small sticky note is not enough. I need a little bit more space. So this is going to be fantastic for work. Okay, and then we have a planner paper um, pack. Let's pull this out. This also looks like it's old school happy planner. And it seems like this is 40 sheets of different types of filler paper. So we have this beautiful pink gradient um, filler paper with some white lines on it. It says important, has some nice cute accents on the top and bottom. And so we have probably 10 sheets of this one. And then we have 10 sheets of this green dot grid um, paper. And it says you got this at the top and the exact same thing on the back. So we have 10 sheets of that. This is fun. I feel like Happy Planner doesn't do these like full page colored filler paper anymore. And I don't understand why not because they're so fun. They're so fun and whimsical. And then we have yellow box grid paper and it just says notes at the top and on the back. And again, I love that it's just one solid block of color. I really, really like that. And then the last um, 10 sheets are uh, blue filler paper and it says list of things I have to do and it's just one long to-do list and same on the back. So again, just beautiful, just a beautiful block of blue and it's just a nice long to-do list. So again, these are really, really functional and perfect for a, a starter kit. Okay, and then this looks like Oh, these are adhesive pockets. That's amazing because I've always wanted to have adhesive pockets and I just don't feel like buying them from like Erin Condren or something. So this is amazing that we have two adhesive pockets. I really like this one. This one's all right. <laughs> but I'm glad that we have adhesive pockets. That's new and different. And then the last thing is we have a Mambi Sticks pack of stickers, 29 piece pack of stickers, and this is the Planner Girl sticker pack. And again, this is a perfect choice for a Planner Essentials um, mystery bag because this is definitely like the Planner Babe, Planner Girly, Mambi Sticks sticker pack. Just so much fun and perfect for someone, you know, really leaning into the hobby, really beginning with the hobby. I do have this sticker pack. I think I've used up, you know, a good chunk of it. So I'm happy to have another one. And that was everything that was in the Planner Essentials uh, mystery bag. Honestly, I am a bit surprised uh, that they don't have an actual planner in here. I bet there were a lot of people who might have purchased this for maybe someone who was just getting into planning or someone that they're trying to introduce into planning or maybe if you purchased this as someone just getting into planning yourself i am a little surprised that they did not include um a planner in here that's pretty surprising for a planner essentials mystery bag i think they should have included a planner instead of the mug but i think they should have included a planner and the mug honestly this mystery bundle was a little bit more underwhelming than the goal getter mystery bag i'm still really excited about everything i'm really happy that they gave us three sticker books the discs the set of washi tape this little mini sticker book i'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of these products but i do wish that there was a little bit more value in this mystery bag let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And with that, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe. God bless you and your family. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Adios. Feliz Navidad.